feel like the issue, especially in our generation, is that a lot of people um, are overwhelmed with the news that we're receiving, mm -hmm. um, that we're absolutely terrified that it kind of encourages a, uh, an attitude towards liberalism or progressive mm. like ideals and stuff that mm -hmm. people just kind of reject that and they're like oh cynicism is cool yeah. or <laughs> i don't care about anything anymore because caring is really uncool mm. i don't yeah. know yeah yeah i really feel like we should care and it's like a recent discovery of mine and i kind of i'm coming from a perspective i'm out of university now yeah. but for um, people going into university I remember not caring about sustainability and like yeah. I do my recycling that's enough yeah, yeah. Like, totally. you know yeah. Yeah. and I think um, a point that was made in these videos um, was that um, once you have kids you suddenly think about what is going to happen mm. to the planet mm. when you're not here you know because yeah. you know that your kids are going to be here when you're not here but why do you need kids to care mm. yeah right exactly. just because you're all yeah. probably going to be gone in the next like 60 70 odd years but like why, why does that yeah it's yeah. not like i i should care even though i don't have kids yeah 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 yeah, I don't have kids like, right now, so yeah. I, and I care. Yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah. <laughs> it's like not just sustainability in terms of like plastics. It's like sustaining our own kind of perspectives towards yeah. the world and the way that we interact with it. Yeah. That's not insignificant work yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, I think the other thing is it's super overwhelming. Mm. Like how many? Like seventeen. <laughs> By twenty thirty, like the like seventeen different things, mm. and they are all so yeah. important that for a young person that could be so overwhelming mm. Mm. I think one of these is going to stick out to you more than the other mm. and focus on that like focus yeah. on that passion for that one SCG yeah, yeah and it's worth it and why is it worth it to mm. you you know um, we, yeah we but, but it also I links between like, each of them too right mm. yeah like if you start caring about one that affects yeah. the other one and yeah. it affects the other one so and like yeah. all of it yeah contributes together um, and it's uh, not just relevant to us as well like I'm working with volunteer charities and mm -hmm. volunteer Wellington specifically um, there's a woman there Lynn who um, struggles with this stuff on a daily basis because she's out there organizing volunteer people to kind of address mm -hmm. the SDGs yeah. um, and we've talked about the frameworks a lot and how much they are really helpful in terms of giving yourself a kind of heuristic framework to grapple with these huge really complex ideas mm -hmm. like even if it's not the ideal framework, it's a starting point, which yeah, is totally. which is really cool. Yeah, they might not be goals that people believe that they can reach by twenty thirty, mm. but they s they serve as a starting point, and totally. I don't think that that yeah. should be written over. You know. Yeah, it's a vision, <laughs> mm. and um, you have to be like you have to think big first. Yeah, totally. and get those little steps towards it yeah. before you get anywhere at all. Mm. But I have a bone to pick with the SDGs to start off with. Okay. Um, so reducing inequality is, um, I'm not sure if it's the most useful framework towards gender equality. Mm. Like e equity rings a much kind of bigger bell to me than reducing inequalities. Mm. Um, I had a lecturer in gender studies who said if we're just aiming to be equal to men then we're seeing the bar way too low, which I, I really agree with. Like, mm. If we're just trying to close that wage gap, is that really the kind of end game? It's not just about females being paid the same amount as males. Mm. It's, it's the males and females who are not getting paid enough that need that, e that equality yeah, as well. Totally. There's a lot of unpaid work in the world. That too, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, which is something I think about quite often, especially considering I'm the kind of the mum of my flat. <laughs> um, um, yeah. I think we need to consider that it's not even necessarily about pay between the genders. Mm. You know, it's not even yeah, it's not about even about pay. It's about abilities and disabilities and not even genders and I you know I don't even necessarily want to be the person that's like oh we need to be thinking about non-binary mm. um, and well, disability but the thing is hair. it's it, it is a privilege for us to be you know a cis 
that, you know? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Like, I get like away a- with a ton of stuff. Like, yeah, people expect me to speak because I'm a white dude between the ages of, like, 25 and 40. But it's, like, also, like, I'm super gay and don't identify with a lot of the, the kind of, like... Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. So it's, like, a yeah. discussion that needs to be made. Right? Yeah. But we don't even need to think about what's happening overseas. We have to look at our local community mm. and see that there's a lot of, you know, inequality, homelessness mm-hmm. already in Wellington itself. Totally. Yeah. It's not a conspiracy because you can see it with your own eyes, yeah. right? Um, and so there are things that we we literally can do today, mm-hmm. right? Um, and there's really wonderful kind of interconnectedness about Wellington as well. Mm-hmm. For instance, I was talking about Kai Cycle earlier today. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they're, totally. they're, they're amazing. They go around, they pick up um, uh, food waste from around your houses and um, they bring it back, they compost it, and not only that, they use that compost to grow food for Kai wow. So it goes, it goes so to good. the free store yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Awesome. It's, it's amazing. There's all these uh, really fantastic groups and such yeah. kind, of, kind of a community that is there that we can be a part of as students. Or really or, easy to find. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. yeah. I think Victoria makes it really easy to find these groups yeah. Yeah. and link up with yeah. people who are, and if you don't, it, it, if you have an idea, it's super easy to s- just put your hand up and say, "Why don't we do this?" And find other people. And other people yeah. go, "Yeah, I'll jump on mm. and sign up to that as well." Yeah. Because at university, it's just such a place of everyone's there to try yeah. all the time. I'm like, yeah. if you guys are doing anything cool, like hit me up because I'm yeah. keen to jump on that. You know, <laughs> yeah. seriously, yeah? Totally. it works like that. Um, yeah. But education for me is like the goal that sticks out at me the most. Like I'm mm. so passionate about it. Whenever mm. I I always give so many props to all of my friends who are teachers or like working in education. It's like, um, I was thinking about this in relation to Te Papa and the full meaning of the name is like the storehouse of our most precious treasures or something like that. And that's what I think of as education, like, and teachers. It's just like, we have a lot of knowledge and skills um, and we we listen to, um, we're, we're pretty mm-hmm. uniquely privileged. Um, I think one of the things that you can, you know, you mentioned it before, we can, we can volunteer our educated minds <laughs> to these people who um, don't have that privilege. We can volunteer yeah. our time to go out and share and just help and support those people, lift them up a little. Totally, just a yeah. little, Definitely. just one day, yeah. we can lift them a little. Definitely, yeah. And I get a lot out of um, like facilitating meetings, like um, volunteering my time to do that. It's like you kind of make a connection with people mm. and, and help a connection form between those people. Mm. And mm. Um, if they're especially volunteering for good causes as well it's like that's really amazing that's valuable time spent i think like right now we're coming from that privileged position Mm. we are educated yeah (laughs) you know we're talking about these things to students who are coming into university Mm. to be educated yeah um we're who's talking to people that aren't getting educated Mm. you know yeah Yeah. who's talking to people that it's not reaching Mm. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I think that's also a responsibility that, and it's also, it feels good too, right? I mean, if you learn something mm. that will better the world, yeah. it's a responsibility for you to share that knowledge yeah. and yeah. as well as it feeling good too. Totally. You know? and, yeah. and that spreads, you know? Yeah. Mm. And all I can do, all I can do for me, I don't you know I'm not in these worlds of sustainability like I'm not a leader of sustainability achievement but for me as an individual mm. I can tell my mum to stop putting her apples in plastic <laughs> bags at the supermarket yeah exactly totally. I, I can affect my little bubble mm. yes. and those individuals will then affect their bubble and yeah. it ripples like that totally we're, people we're totally overlook that of that stuff yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. totally yeah. totally what next can we do? Yeah. The power yeah. to the people, right? I mean, our voice is hard. You yeah. pressure the companies that you think aren't doing very good or yeah. making very good sustainable choices. You pressure them into making those choices. Totally. Yeah. Um, and I remember there was definitely pushback about the plastic bag ban. Like, yeah. People were like, oh no, the plastic bag companies are going out of business. And it's like, oh no, they should have seen... Plastic straws! Yeah. Think of oh, the people on totally. the plastic straws are going out of business. Yeah. And I now, <laughs> I now think about where I use plastic mm. and everywhere. Like, I, I do not want to buy another plastic toothbrush. Mm. You know? Exactly. See, the people need to think about the like, I use totally. four exactly. toothbrushes a year, mm. one for each season. 
that's four <laughs> plastic toothbrushes <laughs> not going in that the will be there yeah. for yeah. like you know? 250 years you know or yeah. however long it takes for or ending up in the ocean exactly yeah, definitely yeah. um no that's really it's cool to kind of <laughs> but it's trending but it's like it, it, I find that really cool taking yeah. that kind of longer perspective around mm. your, your day to day activities yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I'm really glad that it is becoming a little bit more cool and hip you know yeah. that like influencers are really jumping on this yeah um, but then I guess that's also like I you know I don't really want to play the blame game either no. so it's so it's mm. like at the end of the day what can I do yeah right yeah, totally. what are all these tiny little like choices that I can make in every single day do I want to ride a car to get to this destination? Can I take a yeah. bus? Mm -hmm. Can I, I cycle? Can I walk? Yeah. yeah. And I think that's exactly it. Like we've thought about um, Wellington being a more uh, walkable city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the most walkable cities in the world. Why not make it even more? Even you more. know, yeah. that's the issue that we can actually mm. voice our opinions being like, yeah, it's awesome when they shut off all the streets for Cuba Dupa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why not make that more? They can shut yeah. down more streets, totally. you know? Or yeah. like, I don't mind taking the buses <laughs> if mm. they work well. <laughs> don't even get me started on the buses. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of hope towards that area, I think. Exactly, but that's, that's the starting point, right? Yeah. And so if we voice our issues, it shows that we actually care mm. and the people who are currently in power can know that people care i.e. with the whole plastic bags people voiced that they cared about that so they stopped that yeah. so it's just one example of how we can actually bring change in the world but that's the only way they can stop feeling so hopeless is to actually try mm, totally definitely and any time that you can have a little bit of hope towards these things any project that improves that or gives people mm. Um, knowledge or hope about it it's yeah. like that is that's what I am like, like 10 times yeah. better yeah totally I don't know how to make it more clear to other people that mm. it's something that they should care about too. yeah In, even my parents yeah. I'm like don't use cling wrap you don't need to use your Tupperware <laughs> totally. you know like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like the one who's like digging through the recycling bin like no this is a mixed material it goes in there yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly I'm, I'm that one as well <laughs> I think that's it like university students can even just at least start by like separating their waste mm, yeah you know totally, yeah. like I'm learning to compost yeah. you know yeah. you start a worm farm it's great you're really cute yeah. like <laughs> you can put them in just about anything yeah, yeah exactly so let's use our privilege and education to help support our little bubbles to be more sustainable make and better choices make better yes. choices for a little bit of environment. Environment. Yeah. yeah totally cheers for that cheers Thank you.